Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week 11 is here. 10 is in the books. And uh, last week, we did pretty good. We went, uh, I went 2-1 in my picks. I lost to Seattle as they gave up a touchdown, a 60-yard touchdown in like 50 seconds left in the game. Thanks, Washington. Uh, Dakota picked his pick correctly, and we are both at 50% for the season. Time to get above that 50% uh, teaser. Didn't hit. Um, you know, I had lost three different teaser uh, tickets last week. Used Baltimore. I had them on the money line. Ugh. And uh, so, yeah, overall, with everything we got, 46%, you know, the teasers is coming down. I'm trying to get that out. There's always that one team. Never uh, as far as our pools go, uh, we lost four in survival. So they got all three strikes. Four is eliminated. Uh, and our pick em pool, uh, Mean Machine, uh, still maintaining the lead, 717 points, 60%. Our, our sports remains at second place. At 706 points at 58%. Billy B moved up from fourth place to third place at 682 points at 58%. Crazy Thing, six, that's Dakota's brother, moved back into the fourth position at 681 uh, points at 57%. I moved up from, I was like 10th last week, moved up to seventh at 655 points. And uh, Dakota moved up to 11th place at uh, 646 points at 53 percent pretty good all right as our alternative helmets this week we got two of them we got dallas in the white helmets and we got the washington redskins in their black helmets pretty cool black and white there you go week 11. our bye weeks this week we got the atlanta falcons off a loss last week New Orleans Saints off a loss last week. The New England Patriots off a loss last week. And the Indianapolis Colts playing in Germany uh, off a win. What a boring game that was. I'm, I'm glad I didn't catch nothing but the highlights on that one. So that being said, let's get on with the show. And my number one pick of the week, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns are a four-point home favorite. Uh, Cleveland actually won their last three out of four at home versus Pittsburgh. Uh, last year, the game was 29-17, to 17, so a 12-point difference. Uh, Pittsburgh, they're pretty much beat up. Last week, they had a few injuries, a key injury. Got to be careful on that. Uh, Cleveland is 4-1 ATS at home. For me, I think Pittsburgh's just a little bit overrated. I'm taking the home home uh, team only four points on this divisional game, so give me Cleveland minus four. My second pick of the week, we got the Los Angeles Chargers travel to the Green Bay Packers. Los Angeles Chargers are a three-point road favorite. Uh, the Packers, 4-1 uh, all-time in Green Bay, but of course that's with Aaron Rodgers, so you can't really put those up. Uh, the last matchup, uh, the Chargers did win 26-11, uh, to 11, but that was in L.A. Uh, Green Bay uh, seems like they're wide receivers that can't catch. Even if you throw the ball exactly to them, if you, you know, if they got stone hands, rubber chest, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these Green Bay is just uh, yeah, this is going to be a different team next year, I guarantee. You. Heads are going to roll. As for me, I think the Chargers need this victory. They they uh, they went round head toe to toe with Detroit last week. Uh, they had just uh, Justin Herbert. Uh, he went uh, 27 out of 40, 323 yards, four TDs last week. I think they're just going to roll on this game. It's only a three point spread, so uh, there's a slight chance of rain. But either way, you know I like the Chargers. So give me the LA Chargers minus. My third pick of the week, we got the Minnesota Vikings traveling to the Denver Broncos. The Minnesota Vikings are a two-point road dog. Denver won its last two games at home, 23-20 and 22-19, so by field goal. Um, Minnesota's uh, 4-0 and 1 ATS on the road, whereas Denver's only 2-3 and ATS at home this season. Minnesota, they're just going to stick around, lurk. If they lose any game since Detroit's on that winning streak, they got to be right, stride by stride with Detroit. That's why they picked up the quarterback. I think uh, they're going to 
be in the Lions' shadow this season. Plus, we got playing the uh, last two games of the season. Well, last two of the three games of the season. I see uh, Minnesota not going away. And uh, Denver, they got their big win uh, Monday night. Uh, and they're on a short week, so give me the Minnesota Vikings plus two. And for my pick of the week, we got the Las Vegas Raiders traveling to the Miami Dolphins. Miami is favorited by 12 points. Miami's coming off a bye week, and they are 4-0 at home, straight up, and 4-0 at home against the spread. While Las Vegas is 1-4 ATS on the road. Miami has won by two touchdowns on all their home games this year. So, give me Miami, minus 12. Alright, good pick. Yeah, we did uh, make all our bets last night. uh, So, it was at 12. Now, it's moved to 13. But, uh, we're still going with the Miami Dolphins, minus 13. All right, for my three-team teaser, let's hope one of these teams don't fall flat. I got the Jacksonville Jaguars, minus a half a point, so pretty much on the money line. Uh, The Detroit Lions, minus four. And the big game on Monday night, might as well put some money on it. So we're going to fill it up, Eagles, plus eight and a half. Well, that's about it for the week. Um, Last week, I told you I lost six subscribers. Well, this week... I actually gained over 20, so I appreciate everybody, and welcome to this new channel. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I want everybody to have a good and prosperous weekend. Win some money. I will see you next week. Peace.